bookworms, this is Bonnie from Backward Story, and today I have a really exciting book comparison video for you. Um, at the beginning of this year, maybe the end of last year, I heard about a book called A Face Like Glass by Frances Harding, and um, the summary of it reminded me of that sort of intangible sort of fantasy uh, and the way that it just comes to life in a way that you can touch and feel. Um, it, it gave me like this sensation uh, in a way that very few books have. The first one that comes to mind is, of course, The Night Circus by um, Aaron Morgenstern, which was one of my it's like one of my top 20 all-time favorite books. I really, really love it. And um, I always am on the lookout for another book that was similar. And at the beginning of this year, we were lucky enough to have two similar books come out. One was Caraval by Stephanie Garber, and one was The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. And um, so I just read all of these books at the same time, and they really made me want to read The um, Night Circus again. And... They made me, like, you know, want to write something like that myself that had that same sort of strange whimsy. And then I was browsing um, just what was available as an advanced reader copy, and I found out about A Face Like Glass. And I decided that I could not wait six months until the book came out in hardcover in the United States. The book previously published in 2012 in the UK, and so I imported the book. And this is the copy that I imported. So today I get to show you that. And I get to show you the U.S. hardcover copy that just came out. So that is really exciting to me. This is the second or third cover in the U.K. There are a couple of covers on it. And um, you can see them flashing up across your screen here. And just I looked at the different covers that were available. I decided I really liked this cover. There was another U.K. cover that I really liked. Um that I considered getting but I decided to go with this one and I'm really glad I did because it's got these cute French flaps and I just the way the cover was structured I liked the whimsy of it and the way it felt like it had that intangible quality that I was hoping to find in the book once I started reading it and of course I haven't actually started reading it in the past half a year and now this copy's out so that makes me feel horrible um but I really did and still do want to read it. Um, Frances Harding has also come out with some books in the United States, well, the UK as well. But she is known in the United States for um, The Cuckoo Song and The Lie Tree, which has one of the greatest covers I've seen. I always am obsessed with the cover for The Lie Tree. And I've seen Fly By Night on the shelves lately and have been looking at the cover too. But she just has some great UK covers. Um, in this case, I prefer this cover to this cover just because this looks a little creepy to me. I'm sure once I start reading it, the cover will make more sense. Um, but it's just a little creepy, I think. Let me just give you a summary really fast of this book so that you can see that quality I was talking about, and then we'll take a look at the differences between the two. In the underground city of Caverna, the world's most skilled craftspeople toil in the darkness to create delicacies beyond compare. Wines that remove memories, cheeses that make you hallucinate, and perfumes that convince you to trust the wearer, even as he slits your throat. On the surface, the people of Caverna seem ordinary, except for one thing. Their faces are as blank as untouched snow. Expressions must be learned, and only the famous face smiths can teach a person to express or fake joy, despair, or fear at a steep price. Into this dark and distrustful world comes Neverfell, a girl with no memory of her past, and a face so terrifying to those around her that she must wear a mask at all times. Neverfell's expressions are as varied and dynamic as those of the most skilled face smiths, except hers are entirely genuine, and this makes her very dangerous indeed. So you can see how it seems to have that just strange, offbeat quality, like a world you haven't quite seen before. And every time I read the summary, I get so excited to read this. And it's been sitting at my nightstand since like, January, February, whenever it came in the mail, and I still haven't read it, and like I said, I imported it because I couldn't wait, and I feel so bad about that, um, but, so I'm going to show you the differences between the hardcover of the United States edition and this paperback UK edition. So, of course, the first thing you see is the way the covers are different in the front, 
and it says she's the award-winning author of Fly By Night Here. And then in the U.S. edition, it says she's the author of Costa Book of the Year, The Lie Tree. So the two books that they mention are different because they were received differently in the two countries. And she's better known for one book in one country and the other in the other country. And then this book, when you open it up, it's got this really lovely French flap. I love French flaps in paperbacks. And... Um, you can kind of see if you like look at it the summary is very very similar I won't read it again because it's almost the same there's just more words in the US um, summary that make it a little tighter and make you get drawn into the world a little bit more I think but the summaries are very very similar to one another and then as we go through it I like to say put the cage back there and there And then the beginning of every single chapter looks like this. And I love that it's got that image there as well. Because as I've told you before, I love that when you read a book, um, you see the images in the book itself. Because it helps like keep you tied to the story, remember what you're reading. And it keeps you like in the moment. Like You feel like you're drawn deeper in. Like you're right there because you're seeing it because it's making it more visual to you and I'm a very visual learner so I just really love that when books do that and luckily the hardcover edition uh, for the United States does that as well so oh I guess I'll show you the back of this before we move on child thief madman spy which speaks the truth and which one lies just doesn't it look so good it looks so good oh you can see some uh of her other covers, Twilight Robbery and Fly By Night there. So this is the hardcover and when you take the jacket off it's got a nice little surprise there which of course I like. I love when they put surprises under the cover. Oops. There is your spine and your back and the back of this one has praise for the lie tree. And then when we open this one, the end papers are black. And you have this really beautiful two-page spread when you open it up to the title page. And then look at the way the chapter begins. Look at this side. And every chapter has that. So I love that both books have a picture in the header each time. And those are the biggest differences between these two. Since they're not like exactly the same edition, hardcover to hardcover, paperback to paperback, um, it's a little harder to show you those sort of differences. But I really, really like both editions and the way they both put so much into making you feel drawn in as you read. And I am so excited to finally read this book. It's definitely on my to read list this year. I just need to make time for it. And um, I just wanted to introduce it to you because a lot of you may not have heard of it or you may have looked at the U.S. cover and it doesn't look like something that you would necessarily read um, because the covers are very different in style and tone to one another and I personally am more drawn to the uh, U.K. cover and I know that Mandy said that she was interested in the book too um, after seeing uh, the U.S. cover on the shelves and that's what draw drew her attention to it. So definitely different covers for different readers. She likes creepier things than I do. I would have thought this was creepier on the shelf and probably never looked at it. Um, but because I think it might not have had a cover at the time or maybe the cover was very small. I don't know. But I just looked at the summary, thought it sounded really interesting and imported the book. So um, I just wanted to show you the differences today. Let me know before if you've read this book, what you think about it. Um, help me get even more excited about this read that I'm anticipating so much and I will talk to you guys again soon have a great weekend bye